Hello, um, welcome back to this series of getting ASCP certified. Uh, my name is Minette and um, I am here to help you through your certification process. Um, please, if you're watching this video without watching the previous video, you would need want to quickly pause and check the previous video where um, I outlined the, um, the introductory stages what you need to do um, to get certified for your ASCP board certification exams. All right, so um, today we're going to look at the content of the ASCP exam, the content of the ASCP exam, not the nature of the exam, the content. Next video will be on the nature of the exam, right? But um, right now we are going to look at the content of the exam. The, the certification exam is made up of a hundred questions um, and the time given is two hours, 30 minutes. Two hours is a good time to complete a hundred questions. And if you know what you're doing, you will not even use two hours to answer the questions. However, it's um, it's like a cadeau in French, right? We call it a cadeau, like a gift that um, we were given two hours, 30 minutes. That 30 minutes is so, you know, you don't have an excuse that I didn't have enough time. If you fail, if you didn't know what you were doing, it's not about time, it's on you. So the, the time limit is two hours, 30 minutes. And then we have different areas of the examination. We have hematology, we have um, blood bank, we have urine analysis, we have chemistry, we have microbiology, and we have immunology and laboratory operations. Those are the areas that make up the ASCP board exams. Blood bank, urine analysis, chemistry, hematology, immunology, microbiology, and lab operations. So all these areas have different percentages of the exam, right? So once you get into an exam, you would not expect to see laboratory operations all over instead of hematology or chemistry, right? So that is the trick. In, um, in um, the cumulative package, right? It's outlined right there. We have blood bank with um, 15 to 20%. We have um, chemistry with 20 to 25 percent take note right chemistry 20 to 25 percent of the exam so we also have um microbiology 15 to 20 percent and then we have uh, urine analysis 5 to 10 percent we have immunology 5 to 10 percent and then um like i said lab operations 5 to 10 percent so chemistry is the chemistry and hematology are the biggest with 20 to 25 percent of the exam package so that tells you something when you go in to prepare chemistry boom hematology boom microbiology so you want to focus on these areas and that's why i'm here um, with my team to you know come together to help people assimilate all of this content within the time that you need to get certified right um whenever you see a video like this pop up on this channel please check the description you will find instructions on how to get to to us by sending an email on the allied uh, health heroes um gmail account just send an email quickly and we will respond with whatever concerns you have if if you're registered already for the exam and you just want to talk to us one-on-one -on -one, we'll talk to you about it if you need resources to study for the exam we are here for you and if you need um you know any assistance at all to go through the processes you know even if you've not written the exams before and you want to know how to write the exams if you've written the exams before and not made it the first try you just need a little bit of assistance or if you are already certified but you're looking to recertify because um you get once you certify as an ASCP whatever field you are in after three years you have to recertify and so you know that's why we are here to make this easy you don't have to go and pay for all those packages we have all of this taken care of uh, we also have um the microscopic contents like the details that we don't see all you know you don't you don't find out there on all these different packages people who have sat for the exams could tell you but you cannot get this in the classroom right so this is what we're doing right here this is what we have right here for you um mind you we have an nda we signed an nda where you cannot disclose the questions you found on the ASCP exam right but you can you you're free to talk about you know the fetal areas the places where you want to concentrate to study you know we know these things huh all right so quickly um blood banking blood banking 
um, what are those you know things that are familiar to you in your lab you know in your environment you want you you want to go online and find out what are those same things that are familiar to the environment where the exam setting originates from right you want to find out you know if you're taking an american exam you want to you know go into the american blood banking um content more and so we have all those resources available that will make available to people who are interested to do so um so any call we are, quickly this is just the content right that i had to rush through i don't always want these videos to be very long i always try my best to make sure we don't go over 15 minutes of this content so it's easy to you know go through and assimilate all right so i'm going to go okay you want you look up the website the ASCP, and get this so you're familiar with this or you can ask me or send you a soft copy um i want to quickly go through the questions that i got from the previous email from the previous video we uploaded and i'll only go through a few questions all right so um this question is from lady lady say hi um i'm a technician working for five years now and i need to know if i have to get certified from my home country can i get a job in america yes lady um Yes, um, but you do not specify which country you're writing from. So this is how it works, right? If you've been working, it's even better because you can get you can get the examination. You know, you can find the examination easier to you know approach than somebody who have not been in the field. Like I always use my example. Um, I was out of the field for a bit, but you know, just focus and hard work with the right places to touch through. You get it. So yes, lady, once you get certified, it doesn't matter where you stay. It doesn't matter where you, 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 you are right now, right? Once you get certified, you are qualified. You are just as qualified like somebody in the Harvard University in the United States will not just leave Harvard and go and work in the lab. They need the certification. And so whether you, I don't know where you're writing from, but it doesn't matter where you're writing from, right? Whether you, you, you're going to school in, in Asia, in Africa, once you get certified, you are just as qualified for a lab job, right? And the good thing is um, in the United States these days, you can get employers who employ you directly from your home country to the United States, right? The president, Joe Biden, has passed this bill where skilled workers can immigrate to the United States and you can be processed to work. This has been ongoing for decades before our last president, you know, stopped the whole um, skilled worker um, scheme. But right now it's back. And yes, this is an encouragement to people who are trying to immigrate to the U.S., to Canada. Once you are certified, you're qualified. And even if you choose to stay in your home country and you want to work with an international organization, they pay you with the American standard of your certification. Whether you are in the UAE, whether you are in the Philippines, they will pay you according to, you know, this is the best of my knowledge. I will do more research to get back to you to see um, how I can help you with that question further. Again, we don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to dive into the next question. Um, the next question is from Paul. Yeah. Paul says, um, thank you for uh, thank you for outlining to us what we need to do to get the certification. And the next question I have in mind right now is, how easy is the exam for somebody who have been out of school for over ten years? Hmm. How easy is the exam for somebody who have been out of school for over ten years? Um, no exam is ever too easy or too difficult it's preparation that will tell you if you do not prepare you tell me the exam was hard but if you prepare you tell me it was easy so it's up to you um 10 years paul i would say you have to really prepare you have to really prepare you want to send me an email you know to work with me on this because i was out of school for seven years and i know it was not easy but i put in the work i did I did, I did the time. So you want to work with someone who has gone through the process or someone who can get um, a grasp of what this is all about and with the pace you work with, right? You don't want to just overwhelm yourself with the whole content. And I think you are, I believe if you are in the field, you will do it. It's doable. And yes, you can do it. It's possible. And it doesn't matter. Once you get certified, you are qualified, like I always say to my friends. All right. So the next question is, please, when are we going to start the training? okay um rose we are going to start the training um um whenever you're ready to send me that email all right just send me an email i just need 
to get a few people I'm willing to kick off with. Um, I um, I need to make the schedule and I'll upload I'll upload this information on the next video. Um, I work a six um, I don't know a six to six. I work a twelve hour shift, so I make time based on my free days. And so the more ser the more people I have, the more seriousness the show or the more committed they are into this. I'm ready to work with people to encourage people to get this. You know the lab. The lab profession is like it's you know it's not too out there like these other professions you know because i think we we don't do a lot to encourage other people to get on board so this is why we're here this is why we've taken this challenge i say we because i'm the face in front of the camera but i have a whole team we work with i work with so to bring this to you okay so um this is all the questions i can take for today for right now um maybe you send me your questions on the email you find in the description i can try to reply you at my earliest convenience but um yes thank you for watching and god bless you all see you guys again on the next series of the video bye